and just placing a couple tiles um, so you can see how things are going here but we got started on our floor tile and what we're doing right now is uh, dry placing our border tile so well, this is how it goes there's a double border that goes around the main bathroom area and then it has a uh, a staggered uh, running bond pattern and then what happens is um, this main room um, turns a double has a double border, border and turns a single here and then it, it meets up with the lineal drain in the shower so the glass line is, is sitting on this grout joint on this side so that represents glass so kind of separates that shower area and then what happens is once we get all our border dry fitted we'll come and thin set it down and then that sets up for us to uh, start getting ready to do our field tile our field this main area would be on a 45 so everything's 45 so, so it when you come in, this is the doorway. Imagine you're coming into the space and then this is the first thing you see is the tiles going on a direction like that. So it kind of leads you into the space. And, um, that's how it's going, guys. We got started on our floor. So this is our floor. And then this is how that linear drain get, get framed out. You can see um that there's some back pitch to this side slightly on this side of the glass so if, the, if you're using a handheld and it and it the glass is um getting splashed with water from the handheld or even the body jets then it's going to hit the glass and run down the glass and when it hits the bottom of the glass it's going to hit this tile border and then we it's going to plane into the drain that's why it's back pitched like that it's important um, if you level or even if you tip the other way you're going to hold water so uh, that's why we back pitch that intentionally and, and we we usually stick the lineal drain out near the glass line but not up against it because we're trying we're trying not to make any dark corners you'd call it maybe for uh, moisture to sit we're trying to get the um, floor dry dry on its own and and uh, the best as best we can get it to dry out so we like to put the drain out in the space out of the corners i know i see people they sometimes stick them up against the walls and it's like you know it's it's kind of like you need you need to let the the tile dry and, and um, get some air at it. So, I mean, out in the space is a better spot to get air at it than in a, co in a corner somewhere, stuck in a corner. So, anyways, that's just how we do it. So, there's your lineal drain. This curdy section gets a small square tile, and that goes on the same line as the, uh, the main field of the, of the uh, bathroom. So, your eye carries... Uh, the line and then um, as we lay out these tiles well, we, we lay these out so these are in line with your wall so your wall your wall tile comes down your last piece your wall tile comes down and it lines up with your first border so it wraps so your eye wraps that tile in and then it starts the uh, running bond pattern anyways guys that's it I just want to share the beginnings of that so you can see how it's going and we're spreading the tiles out so we're looking at grain and we're looking at color of uh, the hue of the marble and stuff um, but that's pretty much it that and now we got we got uh, while we were doing curdy we curdied out for our these are our panels that clip on to the uh, face of the, sh of the tub area so we can get access to the mechanicals and then that's how the lineal drain gets done it's stainless but to make the tile grab 
to the stainless, we uh, thin set the curdy on there. So now we have good grabbing to that drain. Because this drain gets the tile on top of it, like we were saying. I don't know, it's just a little scrap piece, but you can imagine the, uh, you know, the tile being on top of that. Anyways, that's it, guys. I just wanted to get you guys going on our floor so you can see the beginnings of it. We'll dry fit this whole double border, and then what we'll do is thin set it all down, and we'll get ourselves ready to come do the field.